Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. In the last episode, of course, we explored more of both the Autumn Mountain and the other areas. Now we have our bob -omb friend back and we should be able to get into here, of course. This is the Water Elemental Temple. So we're just gonna be stepping on the buttons here with bob -omb, and hopefully we can open everything up. Okay, Bobby, hop on that switch. Gotcha, no sweat. Nice. And the door shall open. So, what is it gonna be like in here? How quickly will we run into the water velvet until I guess we'll have to wait and see? Yes, we did it! Now we can go into the shrine. Bobby, aren't you coming into the shrine with us? Who, me? I'm uh, pretty wiped out after that pressing that switch. Yeah, that's it. Definitely not scared to wander to a dark, dank shrine full of traps and monsters, nope. So yeah, I'm gonna sit this one out. But say hi to the water elemental for me. It sounds wet and horrible. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, mean, I would love it if you'd come with me, but you're not going to. I'd keep you protected, we're pretty good at that. But I guess not. Ooh, water elemental shrine. This place actually does look a little scary. Check out that stone dragon in the back. Is that the water elemental? Ooh, Bobby's really missing out. Hmm, so let's definitely go up there and save first and foremost. Just might be our best idea. Uh, ooh, and there's a toad around here, apparently. I wonder where exactly. We're gonna save for right now, just like that. And where could this toad be? I can't go like back there or anything, but it's somewhere nearby. Also, is there a question block around here? Not quite. Hmm. I don't exactly see where there could be a toad, but it looked like there was a path down there. Yeah, and I can see down that way, you can see there's already a toad down that way. So I'm guessing that like we'll figure that out at some point. For right now, we'll just start exploring around. Got extra coins over this way. Um, ooh. Let's definitely fill this up, and hopefully with that, we can get this one toad. There we go, we got him. Hi, buddy. Used your precious confetti supply to save little old me? Shucks. By the way, throwing confetti that lands outside of the not bottomless hole won't vanish, so don't worry about wasting it. Cool. Alrighty then. So as you can see, he's gonna run out of there. I do wanna check, um, if we take a look at the maps, 33% of toads rescued right there, so there's probably only two more toads left to find around here. Interesting, plenty of other things to do in the area though, so we'll have to keep looking for that, but for right now, what's to the left? Ooh, this area has something. Whoa, new enemy with the little crabs. Interesting. I forget what these guys are called, but we're about to find out. I don't think I want to jump on them with their pincers. We'll have to wait and see, but for now there's a couple of them. Maybe we can hear what um, uh, Olivia has to say about it. Line them up. All right, hint. Ah, I hate sharp things. That spike will pierce right through your regular boots and feet. So that's definitely not what we want. Um, I don't see why would we need any more moves than that. That was a little weird. I guess if we maybe wanted to set it up so that it was like a, um, a hammer. But I think we're fine with this. We can use these boots and hopefully get rid of them. And it looks like they have 17 health or less, so good to keep in mind. And there's a battle bonus. We get 352 coins in total. I did not see their names. I gotta check it next time we run into them. Yeah, pretty cool. And we get a mushroom for that, nice. I guess enemies are starting to drop coins and stuff. We get another set of uh, shiny iron. Ooh, these are new. Stronger and shinier than your regular iron boots. That's definitely going to be worth equipping, so. Shiny iron boots right there. Awesome, that's good to see. And we also get some extra confetti that I'll definitely be making the use of. Hmm, oh, hello. Oh, he's back, I wasn't able to attack him this time. Oh, there's Koopas this time too. How do I wanna do this one? I'm thinking, actually, this shouldn't be too bad. If I go like this, and then move this guy all the way across, there we go. All right, we got that great lineup, our power goes up. I think I'll just need shiny boots for these guys, the Koopa Troopas. Got it, awesome. And let's also use just maybe their side steppers. Maybe just a normal hammer would be enough with 1.5 times damage, I think so. We got great, which is 16 damage. So they have 16 or less health, not 17. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out exactly how much health they have eventually. But there we go, get some extra confetti for that. And I guess I'm fighting you. I was gonna see if I can't try to dodge it, but I think we're fine. Oh boy. So how do we wanna do this one? I'm definitely seeing a couple of things we can do. First and foremost, um, we want to do this and then do that. And there we go. 
We'll just be able to use some hammers, and that should get rid of everything, because this time we have a Mecha Koopa and three Koopa Troopas. Let's hit him. Ooh. And that was excellent. 18 damage to everybody. And now, whoa, that wasn't enough to take out the, the Mecha Koopa, though. That's sort of a shame. I don't know what I could have done. I mean, I guess use a shiny hammer instead, but. But yeah, I guess that means that the, the Mecha Koopas have a lot of health then. So they're gonna do something here. Ow, that hurt too. And he runs, so I couldn't even defeat them all. Keep that in mind. Mecha Koopas do a lot of damage and they have a lot of health. Anyways, definitely wanna fill this hole up if we can. Looks like we'll need three confettis. Oh, whoa, who's this guy? This guy's blue. He's a blue sidestepper. So they must be different to some degree. Maybe they're just more powerful. I guess we'll find out for right now though. Um, let's see what Olivia says. Ah, oh, I hate sharp things. So the same exact thing she says before. All right, well, gonna move that like that and move that here. Definitely I'll do the shiny hammer for, well, let's do the iron boots for you guys. It's enough to take him out. I know that for sure. Yep. Excellent. And, like I said, we will use, the shiny hammer's a bit beaten up, but we have another one waiting for us. So let's hope this does enough damage to take these blue guys out. Because I can only imagine, oh my, 22 damage, very nice. I can only imagine these guys are even more powerful, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, tons of coins for all that, that's nice. It doesn't look like there's anything else going on around here. So what's over here? Um, good question. What's the square console look, looking thing for, I wonder? Hmm, ooh. Ask Olivia. Do you think we're supposed to slide these tiles around? Um, oh, here we go, oh, interesting. Ah, I see, so, and that'll move things here. What in the world is this thing? You probably have to put a thing in a thing and do some other thing to something else. But I have no idea where to start. So I think that there must be some kind of water stream that we start that leads in from the room to the right. Yeah, okay. We can do that then. Um, it's a little weird, but what we wanna do is that. You know what I mean? Um, well actually, huh, I don't feel like we have enough pieces for this. Because there's nothing that curves it to the right. The only thing that would attach to the bottom right is this. And the problem with that is it's just gonna lead. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what we're supposed to do here. Let's look around. Maybe there's something in here that could help us crack this puzzle. I feel like we need to like change the tiles somehow. Hmm. Well, I keep seeing this guy poke out here. Maybe this is something. Ah. That back wall looks like it has a weird weak spot, but hey, what do I know, you know? I mean, I think you know quite a lot. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> this reminds me of Crash Bandicoot more than anything. Whoa, pal block. Oh my, oh, and just like in the classic Mario Bros game. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, so they're all knocked over. That at least makes them a little bit less of an issue. How am I handling this one though? I mean, I think, aha, look at this, look at this. Excellent, <laughs> pretty cool, attack power is gonna go up. We should just be able to use the hammer against them. I think they're gonna be too weak to do anything anyways. So let's give it a try. That was only great, but still enough to take him down. Same thing with these guys, use the hammer again. Let's see if we can't get an excellent. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. And that's 341 coins for us. So we could just keep at that and get some easy turnarounds here. So we, oh gosh, now they're blue. But as, whoa, what did you have there? Did you see that? Let's wait for that again. Maybe I should grab this coin. Ah! <laughs> I shouldn't have waited, or, or, ah! Oh well, it's fine. We'll take this guy on. This one's a little bit more risky, but we can make it work. Okay, line him up. I'd love to. So we get two moves again, as expected. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. All right, great lineup, attack power up. Starting with these guys, we need the shiny iron boots, because once again, I don't know how much health they're supposed to have. 25 is definitely enough to take him down. I mean, maybe they have the same amount of health and they just do more damage or something, you never know. Either way, using the hammer on these Koopas. 
Okay, that's enough. We've almost 17, yeah, now over 17,000 coins. So this is probably a pretty easy area to farm up coins if you wanted to. I don't think you really even need to. But once again, we're just going to wait for that one person up. Thank you very much. That's mine. So if we defeat them, we'll be able to take the little thing, which is definitely what we need. Okay, <laughs> we did five damage to one of them. So how are we doing things here? I think we have three moves, right? What if we did that and this? Ah ha ha ha! There we go! Awesome! Um, let's just try a normal hammer against them and see how they're a little weak at the moment anyways. Nice, that should definitely be enough to take him down, right? No, it's not! So they do have more than 18 health, but not any less, or any more than 23, because we did five damage to that one guy to start things off. So they definitely have more health than these guys do. Well, there we go. So let's keep it going and see if we can't get them. Flipped over, can't move, good. So they're, they're sort of just stuck the way they are. We're going to use a hammer against this group like that. Oh, they're in trouble. Got it. Okay, so I will have to do a little bit more damage to them then than 18. All right, and as you can see, we get ourselves an extra panel, the groovy panel. Shrine panel stolen by a sidestepper. Put it back where it goes. What do you think this thing is? Haven't we seen something squarish like this nearby, kind of panel-y? Hmm, where was it? I know exactly where it was. Um, for right now, we're just trying to get out of here. I, I missed a coin. I think we'll be okay. We have 17,000 of them. But what I want to do here is I just want to sort of match everything else up, if we can. Oh, well, of course, that tile we picked up is the perfect fit for this thing. Um, sure, or, or do I have to use it now? Because I actually didn't want to. Um, see, just the right size. Let's see if we can slip this tile in as the last step. So yeah, okay, here we go. What I want to do is do that, and then here we go. As easy as that. It's all moving around. Perfect. Whoa. So now the water's flowing through this part of the dungeon. We did it. Look at all the, that water. Where do you think it goes? Can we ride it and find out? Whoa, we can get some coins. Thank you very much. And, and the fire flower. I like it. And I can't go in there. Okay, good to know. I have to know where all this water's heading. Let's follow the flow. So can we see that from over here? We can't, but I'm guessing that in the main area we can see it again, and we'll probably head to the right to do something similar, I'm sure. Yeah, that was still very cool that we are uh, making progress so quickly. Oh, and there is some water flowing into that like jug. Whoa, overflowing into it. And what about on this side? Oh, it's halfway open, so definitely we're on the right track. But there's definitely a way down there. I saw a chest as well. And the gears are starting to spin. Oh, so I guess we're allowed into different areas now. Ooh, the water elemental's mouth is half open now. It looks kind of shocked. Must be amazed that we solved that super hard tile puzzle. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that tough, but okay. Definitely could have been tougher, I suppose. Anyways, uh, let's try this way then. As you can see, there's another question block to hit, just giving me some easy coins. And aha, this is how we get down here. So this is gonna lead to a lot. There we go. Plenty of extra coins for that. And then down this way, what can we do? I think that over here, oh, there's a lot, a lot of swoops. Ah, I didn't even see you in time. Okay, what do we gotta deal with here? Actually not looking so bad, as long as we can have two moves. What do we got? Two moves, sweet because I can just move these guys like that, and like that, easy. So let's use our hammer. Mario's turn, here we go. That wasn't too bad. And with these guys, do the same thing. Okay. And that gets us 329 coins, which seems to be like about an average if we do everything correctly. So that's not too bad. So what is this gonna have probably a collectible? Yep, it is collectible treasure number 37, restaurant fridge. Cool. 
So heading back this way then. We've got lots of swoops. I'm sure they're all gonna go for me. Oh, no, I fell into the hole. How embarrassing. Okay, move quick, move quick. Uh, did I hit him? Oh, so this is the kind that if you hit them, I guess they're weak enough that you don't have to battle them all. Um, like you just take them out with that hint. Now this one's really tricky though. I'm trying to figure this out because there's a lot going on. I'm thinking that we just sort of need to line things up. Sort of, kind of. Hmm. I, I'm having a feeling that this one is one of those ones where you just can't possibly line it all up, you know? Well, that's the best I could do there. It was almost everything. It's so weird. Um, either way, jumping on the swoops really shouldn't be that bad. And yeah, that's definitely enough to take them all out. Which shows you how weak they are. And then yeah, we'll take out these swoops and then I guess the Koopas, at least the three Koopas. Gotcha. Yep, and these three Koopas. Will this be enough damage to them though? Uh, not really, but they're in their shells, which might be good, might not be. Enemy's turn, here we go. Oh wow, they, whoa, they team up. That's cool, I like that. Oh, and that actually gets rid of the Koopa. Oh no, oh no. Because we've seen, you know, enemies of the same type team up, but we have not seen two, I don't think we have seen two different enemy types team up like that. Interesting. Okay, this time, Apparently I have three turns to do stuff here with. Weird. Um, I don't know what to do with this last move. Um, I don't know. Hopefully we get three moves. We get two, darn. That's really tough. I just, I don't know what to do about some of that. It should be fine, that should get rid of all of these guys, and it does, and then I'll just jump on you, and then there's only one swoop to deal with, which is better than, you know, nothing. There we go, excellent. Enemy's turn, it's just one swoop, and I failed to block against it, but that's okay. Now I'll finish him off, I would love to. <laughs> this is getting a little ridiculous. Gotcha. But we still get 140 coins, it's not too bad. Okay, give me that mushroom. And also, let's fill this out. Excellent, wow, that was a lot of coins for that one. And I know it's telling me about this toad. There we go, ooh, there's another treasure chest in there. Oh my gosh, Mario, thank goodness you noticed me. I thought I was doomed to live my life as a window dressing in, in this damp forgotten shrine. Ooh, you got it, max up heart plus five. So we're up to 80 health now. How nice is that? I like it. I think your HP just increased again, Mario, and you seem a bit stronger to boot. Awesome. Wow, my joy in being rescued turned into an actual heart. I didn't know I could do that. Maybe I can make a sandwich appear next if I think about how hungry I am. <laughs> maybe you can, maybe you can, I guess we'll find out. But if we can find a way into there, that'd be a pretty big deal. Is it, oh, oh. Here we go. Is there another question block? Yes, there is. Um, I'm trying to hit them all. <laughs> It's a little difficult to do. There we go. Any more? Yep. Let's just keep going. Now, how are we doing on question blocks specifically? 62%. All right. And what's inside this chest? We have the collectible treasure number 38, max up heart. How fitting. So back out this way, then we have plenty of swoops to deal with. And I'm hoping that if I just keep running, I got rid of one of them. I was hoping for at least two, but oh well. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of enemies. But not too bad, actually, depending on the situation. I think I could at least group up the crabs. There we go. See, this one's a lot more doable. It was not working that way last time. Okay, so as long as we have three attacks, and indeed we do, let's jump on the soups first. Ready? That's good. And we got these swoops over here, might as well do the same thing.
And we'll also make sure we use the hammer against these side steppers. Just like that. You guys are in trouble. Here it comes. Ah, uh, that could have been better. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no. <laughs> now we're in trouble. Ah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And now they're mixing each other up again. Same way as they were before that. So. There they go. They're all lined up. Hit him with the hammer again. With the hammer again. And we should be fine. I definitely need more hammer practice, apparently. Anyways, that's still 304 coins. And can we, like, jump over here or something? No, but there is a little hole here, not doing anything. Weird, what was the point of this area? I mean, maybe at some point we'll be able to jump across or something. Who knows, but for right now, I guess we can go back up, but it was definitely worth it because we got two collectible treasures, we, we saved the toad. Definitely good stuff, and a couple of question blocks along the way. So I guess for right now, our main goal should be just to go this way and see if we can't get more water flowing. Whoa, we can just totally break this. This place is pretty big, even for a shrine. It goes on and on and on. I guess I'm fighting these guys. I swung my hammer, just didn't do anything. Hmm. So how exactly do I want to do this one? I think we want to match up the crab so we can hit him with the hammer. And then just move the one Koopa over. Pretty easy. <laughs> I'm doing it the long way around. There it is. And I think, I think Boots is fine for, Boots are fine for the Koopas. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll find out. No, that's good. And then for these guys, might wanna do Shiny Hammer, just in case. Cause I just don't wanna mess it up again. There we go, 25 damage. And our Shiny Hammer broke. But we do have another one. Last wave coming in, so there was more. Oh boy. This one seems to be a lot more of the same, so we can just move these guys over. And you, and you. Awesome, so let's definitely get rid of everybody just as we did before. Gotcha. And it looks like if we do everything right with this last attack, we should be able to, um, I think get over 20,000 coins with the, with the reward. We'll find out. That was an excellent one, and we get 25 damage. Definitely enough to take them all out. 782 coins for that, wow. So yeah, definitely over 20,000. Very cool to see that, and we get a little extra right there. So there's a lot going on here, and I'm trying to see, is there a way I can get up? Oh my, so he's gonna be sidestepping. Surprise, surprise. I wanted to make sure I did that before I destroyed these blocks, because obviously there's something in it for me. Oh no, <laughs> gotta be careful. There we go. I guess I just gotta jump across for that. Oh no. There we go. There's a fire flower. And then more than that, we got a hole to cover up. Cool. So I don't know if there'll be anything in it for me if I do destroy more of these blocks. I might look to do that after we've gone through it. I found everything we can. Question is, can I make that jump? Nope. I might just have to get rid of this guy because he seems like he's gonna be an active threat. So there we go. Boom, six damage. <laughs> that, uh, we used to do five, so we are getting better with that. That's good. So how do I wanna do this? I'm thinking before we do too much, because it says we need three moves here. I don't think we do, because we can do that. And there we go, two moves. Perfect lineup, attack power up. I'm going to do the um, shiny iron boots for these guys, because once again, I don't really know how much damage they can take. Oh, this is plenty enough, though. And then same thing with these guys. Actually, I feel like I can do it with the normal hammer this time. We'll find out. Maybe this was a big mistake. No, it was excellent! There it is, awesome! And that gives us another 500 coins. So we're storming off to 30,000 before we even know it. So how are we doing this one? I think it's pretty simple. We just need to get up like this. Check this area out, because that seems weird. Nothing. Oh, we made it. Nice stuff. And that's an extra power block. Actually, that's a new item. Um, shakes the ground, dealing damage to all enemies. Isn't that great? 
and nothing else around here. So I think we have found everything we can with this stuff. So if we could just bust it all, just to make sure that if there's anything else to get, we get it. If I could also avoid some battles, because I feel like, you know, we're getting coins for it, but at the same time, ooh, see, this is exactly what I was worried about. I think we're doing fine with what we have. Oh, and I, I'm guessing, yep, this leads right up to the treasure. So definitely worth exploring in a certain way there. We get collectible treasure number 39 of Power Block. How fitting. So there we go, and that's all of the collectible treasures in the Water of Elemental Shrine. So we're doing really good with stuff. I'm happy about it. I wonder if things would come back if we were to leave and re-enter this room. I would hope so, but who knows? I'm glad that we, we were careful about it no matter what. Wow. Another water of elemental statue with a lot of water coming out of its mouth. I'm not sure if it's making me thirsty or the opposite of thirsty, but it sure makes me feel something. Anyway, I guess being the water of elemental means you just really like water. You'd have to, right? I mean, I guess it would sort of not be the best job in the world if you didn't. Anyways, let's go ahead and fill up this hole. And there's a toad somewhere around here was going off about. Let's try to look around for that. Maybe up here? Oh, oh, I see it. That one's actually quite easy. We could just hop down with them. There we go. The most embarrassing part of being window dressing was knowing that my colors clashed with the decor. And that's all the toads rescued in the Water of Elemental Shrine. Awesome. So let's see what's going on up here. Any kind of question block or anything? No. Oh, I can hit these, but it doesn't really accomplish anything. Hmm. Let's see, let's see what's up this way then. It's gotta have something. Right? Oh, I can just keep going. Oh, would you look at that? And we can't go back down there. Weird. Oh, oh, he's closing his mouth. Oh, it's going out of his eyes, he's crying, the poor guy. Just can't stop the water from flowing. It really is crying a river. So I guess we'll just hop down for now. Um, I guess we could take on the, I just don't know if we need to right now. Especially, I don't know if we're going against a battle, if we could keep our health as high as possible. That might be for the best. Ooh. Because obviously we, we battled the Earth Elemental. I don't know why we wouldn't battle the Water Elemental. So how do we want to do this one? This one looks actually quite tricky. Because the exit's over there. So I think I should probably try to, oh, this one's gonna take a second, isn't it? Maybe we should look around first and foremost. Here's some great advice I learned by watching you. When in doubt, bop everything with your hammer. And that's exactly what I was planning on doing. Where we're becoming very in sync. I'm just going to look around to see really quickly uh, if there's any other secret entrances just like there were in the previous area that was like this. Because there could be, and if there is, we definitely, aha, want to get that taken care of first before I'm starting to try to figure out this puzzle. Because there might be a vital piece I'm missing. Either way, we got ourselves, boop, some extra confetti. Maybe we'll need that, maybe we won't. 100 coins. How many more blocks could there be? Apparently 8% and also 20% left for this. So we're at, what, that didn't give me any coins, weird. Um, that got us up an extra 10%, so I guess we only need to find one more. Where, whoa, weird. What's the point of that? I guess to go down, whoa, hello, not happening, I got rid of one, but I couldn't get rid of the other. Well, I guess I didn't quite get rid of them. All right, we got cheap cheeps to deal with here. Oh, this isn't too bad, we got that, that's easy. Line them up. Don't mind if I do. There we go. So we just gotta jump on them. Okay. Are you ready for this? Excellent. There we go. Not expecting a ton of coins for that. The last wave is coming up. It's a bunch of cheap cheeps. This one is a little bit more complicated, but I think we can do it. Is that what I wanna do? Hmm. Yeah, like this then. Maybe. But well, this one's tricky. Why is this one so tough? Because I can do that, but that's not so helpful anymore. 
Um, I mean, I guess I'll just do this and then that. <laughs> Is that really the best move? No, but it's what I could do in the time I had. So let's definitely, let's use shiny boots this time. Mario's turn, here we go. Not too bad. And then we can use the hammer for the other cheap cheeps. Going against one cheap cheap isn't gonna be too much of a problem, I don't think. Let's see if we can't land um, an excellent here though. There it is. And 14 damage, enough to take them out. See, it's just one cheap cheap to deal with. I think we'll be okay. I blocked it, but I actually did a surprising amount of damage. Now I'll finish them off, I'd love to. All right. Yay, <laughs> we got him. Oh, we still get 476 coins. It could have been better, of course, but it wasn't that bad. And we get some extra coins right there too. So what's going on in this room? There's gotta be something. I guess there's an opening over this way. And maybe we'll look around a little bit. I'm still looking for any potential question blocks that we might have missed because it seems like there's a lot in this area. Okay, let's keep it moving. Whoa, and here we go. Here's the, the missing piece. Awesome. Whoa! That's a lot of sidesteppers. A whole bunch of them. What are we gonna do about this? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, one of them has, oh, I want that then. Line them up, I will do what I can. Because I could do something like this. I feel like, yeah, matching up the colors is gonna be my best bet right now. And it's working out quite well. Excellent, here we go. Now they're in trouble. Um, so I'll definitely just use a normal hammer for these guys, but I probably wanna use the shiny hammer for the blue guys. Ooh. That was just a nice. Oh no, not nice. We're using the shiny hammer. Forever from here on out. Ooh. See, now I'm getting the excellent. Why does that have to be that way? All right, shiny hammer, here we go again. Okay. That's enough to take those guys down. We got a couple of side steppers that might attack me here. That really stinks, really stinks. We could have gotten it all done in one turn. Okay, this one's not too bad. Flip them over like that, and then there. I wish you got a bonus for doing it without you know, using that last move. And we'll just use iron boots. This might end up breaking them, but we still have the shiny, shiny iron boots anyways. And there we go. Oh, there's still one more wave. I didn't even realize. Oh my. So how do we want to do this one? Good question. Because I can do something like that, but like it messes up the other guys. What are we doing about this one? Hmm. Isn't that weird? There's just no way. I mean, ah, oh yeah, what, what is there I could do here? There's nothing. If you aren't able to line up the enemies just right, try using an item. Okay, okay, Um, I don't have too much time to do that. I don't know what button it is to item. Oh uh, yeah, time's up. Okay, well I'm gonna do what I can with this. Definitely using this shiny hammer against these guys and just hope I can do enough damage to take him out because if not, this is gonna hurt. That's an excellent. 18 damage is not enough. You gotta be kidding me. All right, we'll just use a normal hammer against I need to get rid of them. Boom. They're gone. And I might as well lower the health of these guys. I don't know, that was ridiculous though, you know? Just like, what was I supposed to do there? Got it. Okay, enemy's turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna snip away at us. Oh, and they're all attacking individually now. That's not good. Oh, that was it though. What's going on with the mixture here? My gosh. I mean, I guess I could do this. And once again, I was like, what is with that nonsense? <laughs> what is with this nonsense? I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do about that. Um, 
Oh, why is it like that? I'll do that then. Sure, why not? What do I have to lose? <laughs> uh, a lot. I have a lot to lose here. We're gonna do shiny iron boots against these guys because I just want them gone. I just I don't want to deal with this. Get out of here, crabs. There we go. And then let's also just hit these guys with the hammer. And that's enough to take them down. It's just one little side stepper. And he still hurts, but it could be a lot worse. Okay, you're going down, buddy. We're just gonna use the hammer against you. It should be enough. So we're down 21 health right now. I mean, we still have like a one-up mushroom and everything. Like, all things considered, we're fine, but it's just a matter of, you know, how, how long until we're not fine. And that is the groovier panel. A panel recovered from sidesteppers. Put it back where it goes. I got a lot of confetti there. A whole bunch of that. And there we go. All the coins collected as well. So let's get up this way. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is gonna be one of the toad things. Interesting. There we go, and that's all the not bottomless holes repaired. Oh no, this is different. What is this about? Oh hey, look at these guys. Well, well, look who's stopping in for a cup of joe. It's me, Mario. What is going on here? What can I get you? Un cafe for 100 coins. Thanks. Can't say I ever expected to see you stumble in here, Mario. We try to keep this place a secret. Minions come here to unwind after a long day of pacing back and forth. I'm probably not supposed to be serving you like this, but I'll make an exception. As long as we've got you here, Mario, you agree that Goombas are the strongest minions, right? I mean, we're usually the first ones you have to face, you know? We're the front line, that's proof that we're Lord Bowser's favorites. We always give 110%. Psh, keep dreaming, pal. Shy guys give 120% everywhere, every day. We're the clear favorites. Which minion was piloting the boss's clown car that during that big rescue at Peach's Castle? A shy guy. I even heard that the origami jerk who started this whole mess was disguised as a shy guy. Can it, you dorks? Sorry, Mario. These two are always going at it like this. Goombas and shy guys, Mario and minions, we're all pressed from the same pulp. Drink your coffee. <laughs> ah, good coffee. So now we're all healed up. That was so cool. So can I talk to them some more? Well, can I get you? So I could get them another. I could get another coffee. I wonder if they'll say anything different. If they'll have anything new to say. No. I was hoping they would, but they didn't. Can I like talk to you though? No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, nothing. Thanks. Come back anytime. Pretty easy way to get some heals out. Some Goombas even have wings. Ever seen a shy guy with wings? Don't think so. Uh, I've seen them with stilts in Yoshi's Island. I know a shy guy who knows a shy guy who can wail on guitar. Goombas can't even hold one. Well, I think that you guys both have your strengths and weaknesses. That's what makes you wonderful as a team. You gotta work together. Anyways, that was an interesting experience. Uh, let's keep going. Where, oh, okay, we're here now. Ha, huh. all right, let's head out of here then. Um, that, that this was not the way I was supposed to go. Oh gosh, I gotta go around again. Okay, so now we just sort of have to th sit down and figure this out, because I'm not really sure what's going on with this one. It's huge. Um, oh, it looks like we can slide that tile into it, this opening too. So obviously we'll choose to groove your panel. Um, now is not the time to put it there. Of course, like we could do that. Oh wait, what if I undo it? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I just wanted to show that it's possible. Nope, wrong, eh. Okay, so it goes away. Nothing's happening, I guess we have to work at it some more. So let's try again. And I do wanna ask Olivia what she says. Hey, look, there's something written under the platform. And what's that opening next to it? Is that a coin slot? J Drizzly hint, 500. Splashy hint, 1,000. Kasplooshy hint, 3,000. Insert nothing. I do wanna try and give it my best shot first. The problem with these is that they can be a bit difficult to get what you want where you want it. Um, but obviously we want something that'll connect to it right away. And this is one of the only ones, actually this is the only tile type, there's the one on the bottom, that'll connect it and bring it somewhere that we can actually work with. Like obviously that's not gonna do too much. Um, so we're probably looking for, 
what are we looking for here that would actually connect it in a way that's helpful? Well, that's where this comes in. Or at least it can. I don't think we need to use all of these. Okay, well, okay. I, I didn't mean to... All right, well, I understand my mistake there. <laughs> I like how it you know, just flashes through it. It's not what I wanted, but I think you get the idea of what I'm trying to go for here. So we need to keep that one area open. Nothing's happening. I guess we have to work at it some more. So. So in theory, right here, that's all we need to do. That's what I was trying to get to. Um, excellent, that's not too bad, actually. I don't know if we just luckily stumbled upon it or if I'm just particularly good at this type of puzzle and never realized it, but there we go, though. Nothing's happening. Oh, I really thought that we had it when we when, we, when the grooves were lined up. Maybe we need to line up all of the grooves. Oof, that sounds hard. Also, unnecessary, why? That just seems like a way to just make it I guess like sort of fabricatedly more difficult, which I do not appreciate. So obviously that's where, it has to be there though is the thing. Why it has to be there is because we don't have any other pieces that line up correctly anyways. Um, oh, but that's where it gets tough and weird because, no, wait, mm, yeah, I do see what's going on here. So it wants me to do that. And that's where this also gets frustrating, because like, I just want to get this there, but then I need a straightaway piece here. And that's just where it becomes a bit of a problematic thing. But I think that if I do this, not quite. See, that's, it can be really frustrating to get the pieces where you want them to be, because I'm trying to get that straightaway piece into the top middle area and it just doesn't want to work with me on that. I feel like I'm just going in circles. So I guess what I could do is try to cycle it through. But I've like totally lost connection on where the piece is down there now. You know, so it's just not what we need at all. Here we go. But that's also not right over there. Huh, well I guess that's where we would Okay, I see. Because if I could like pick up these pieces and just line them up, it would be significantly easier, obviously. <laughs> That's sort of the hard part of the puzzle, isn't it? Oh, here we go, okay, I got it. <laughs> there it is! All right, that is so tough, but we did figure it out. And I could have paid coins there for a hint if I was really stuck, but I'm glad that we could do it without the hint. Boom. Makes a little snake pattern, or maybe a serpent pattern. Ooh. And that's gonna lead back into the main room just like the other one did. Ooh, and there's a pipe for us. Interesting, what will that pipe do? Maybe it'll just be a bit of a shortcut and plenty of coins for us, a couple of extra items too. Thank you, thank you. Lots of extra coins. There's a fire flower. There's another one, or another mushroom. I haven't really been using too many of these items, but at the same time, I've been trying to focus on solving the puzzles correctly, but I'm sure that we should probably be using these a little bit more often now. Uh, so I'll start doing that. Anyways, let's go through here now. And we're back. So that one's gonna overflow as well. Which will be enough to open the mouth. Yes, the water elemental's mouth is wide open now. Almost lo looks like it's roaring, roar. <laughs> oh hey, look inside its mouth. Are those stairs? That must be the way to the water elemental. I hope we can make it up those steps without the statue chomping down on us. All right, well, we'll try it. Oh no, <laughs> wait, I missed my stop. Let's wait for it to turn one more time, and then we'll just immediately run through. No problem. Okay, well as you can see, we finally made it. Aren't you gonna save here? <laughs> You're right, I should save. Thank you for the precaution. Save complete. So I wonder if that means we're about to battle the Water Elemental. Whoa. I'm a bit worried. Oh no. What's going on here? 
Wow, fancy water. What in the world is going on? Whoa, we got like water tornadoes, hurricanes, whatever it would be. Oh my gosh, and there he is. Ah, it's the water elemental. Someone folded it up. It doesn't look like the stone face in the main room at all. Come on, Mario, let's try to bop it back to its former glory. Oh boy, we might be in a bit of trouble here. But let's give it a go. So our battle with the water elemental, I'll do what I can. I'm pretty bad at the boss fight so far in this game, but hopefully this one will go a little bit better. Whoa, look at those water spouts. I expected the water elemental to control water, but not like this. Summon spouts, oh boy. Probably don't wanna walk over those. Use the arrows. So, how do we wanna do this one? I don't know where exactly we wanna attack him, but I'm definitely gonna go for that letter, so I can hopefully figure that out a little bit. I don't know what the on button will do. Or, oh yeah, I guess if I wanted to use the earth elemental specifically. Let's try it. I still have one more move too. Um, I don't know what I wanna do with this one. Uh, maybe nothing. Maybe we're just fine with this, confirm. Okay, well, let's just give it a go. He's gonna wash away. He washed away one of them, but luckily we weren't gonna use that. Oh no, it washed the panels away. Oh, I see, that's what the little cyclones do. Come on, Water Elemental, stop making waves. So what will this say? When the Water Elemental takes flight, bring it back down with a jump, then follow up with your hammer. Gotcha. I do wanna see what this does. It might not be anything, really. Um, Mario's turn, here we go. Elemental power, magic circle on. So of course, Olivia's gonna turn into the Earth Elemental. Let's see what she can do. Whoa, look at us! Being brought up a notch, aren't we? But now what can we do? Whoa. Whoa! Wait, what did that really do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Seems like he's just flying slightly higher now. Oh my, flying bite. Oh, but he can't get me? No, he can most certainly still get me. I mean, he's gonna knock me back to the beginning. So that really didn't accomplish anything. <laughs> Maybe at some other point in time. Oh my. He's all full of water now. Huh, does the water elemental look a little waterlogged to you? It soaked that water up like a sponge, a super strong, super deadly sponge. Summon spouts again. Like maybe now we get hit with the earth elemental thing and like pop it? Maybe we should give it another go. I mean the setup is almost exactly the same. Sure, I'm just gonna go with this. So you're gonna wash things away. Nothing in the direction I'm worried about. But we can read some more tips about it, at least. When the water elemental takes flight, bring it down with a jump. I know, why wouldn't you give me new information? Oh, I never turned it on, I'm a dingus. Oh my gosh, that was a really important thing to do. <laughs> ah, I wish there was an undo button. You can just go back. I definitely have to hit him with something now that he's full of water, right? Ow. Uh, maybe we should just try to jump on him, though. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things here. I guess we'll find out. He's so full of water that that has to be something. He's summoning more spouts. He's like a big balloon right now. So, um, actually what I would like to do here with three moves. Oh no, I don't wanna risk that actually. Um, Cause I can do that. I really wanna see what this does for us, cause it might be my best bet. Hold on, that's not what I wanted to do. No, that's not what I wanted to do, whoops. <laughs> okay, I got an extra second there. Cause I know this this hint is gonna say the same thing it always does. I'll just go for it, just like that. So he's gonna wash some stuff away. None of it's very consequential for me right now. When the water vent elemental uh, belly is full, and it'll unleash a powerful wave. Use the Earth Elemental's power to stay high and dry. Okay, so this won't like pop him or anything. But if he, he his belly looks pretty full to me. So let's try this again. And I know this isn't going very well at first, but that's sort of the thing about these boss fights is you have to like experiment a little, a little bit and just sort of see what they're gonna do. 
So we're gonna be high up here. Oh. But I wish that this would like actually do damage to him in some way. It really doesn't. And that sort of sinks. Cause like he's as full as he can get, I can only imagine. I blocked it, but he does so much damage. Oh no. I guess not. <laughs> It's so weird, the first time you fight any of the bosses, it's so weird. We've had this experience with both of the other ones so far. Now he's full. The Water Elemental's belly looks fit to burst. It's getting ready for some something big, Mario. Brace yourself. So once again, I'm sorry I'm doing it over and over again, but it's just what it seem, seemingly I have to do. Um, it's fine. Just do that. And do this. And then I might wanna, like, you know, with my extra move, like move that like here. I can't do anything with it much this turn, but next turn I can maybe get a heal and that'd be good. I still have my one at Mushroom, so we're gonna be fine. When the Water Elemental's belly is full, it only needs a powerful wave. Um, yep. Wait, oh, I didn't mean to do it that way, but I guess it works. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Okay, that was very lucky that it worked out that way. Um, okay, this time we'll be defended, but I don't think it'll, like, will do any damage to him? Probably not, we just need to get to attacking after this. Because now we know we're sort of safe, Okay, come on now. Go ahead and explode. All right. What's the point of pushing him up like that though, you know? Enemy's turn. Oh my. Big wave, which is no problem for us now. It doesn't really get us anything besides the fact that it just protects us from taking damage, which is nice. Whoa, slick move, Mario. Raising up and out of the way just saved us. Thanks, Earth Elemental. Aha, that attack really wore the Water Elemental out. Now's our chance. So maybe now we could actually do something with the little arms. So maybe we should try that out now. How would I do that? As far as I can tell, the best idea, we have three moves here, would be to do this, move this down, and then Hope that this is a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if the angling matters, but we're gonna find out. The best time to strike with your thousand fold arms attack is right after one of the Earth Elemental's waves, which is exactly what we just did. So we're gonna turn that all on. Mario's turn, here we go. Finally doing damage to this guy. I don't exactly know what our goal is. Are we just gonna be repeatedly hitting him? Um, grip, hit. Here we go, Oh, you're in trouble now. Excellent, that was really good. Not half of his health, but definitely more than a third. Um, it's too drained to attack. So could we do it again? No, 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 okay. So it's gonna get back to flying. This is where we can do some tricky stuff though. They're gonna summon their spouts. I think we're really gonna mess with some stuff here. Uh, how do I wanna do this? The spouts are everywhere this time, so that certainly does make things a bit more complicated. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so that'll make me go all the way around and even get some extra health, which would be great. Then get the times two right there. Actually, if we could get the plus one right now, it would actually be better. And I think we're good. Let's try it out. And hope I didn't just make a grave mistake. I don't think I did. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and grab this extra health, which brings me back up to almost full. We're at the 95 health right now. And let's try this out. So first we need to jump on you, and we're just gonna use uh, shiny boots, it should be good. Jump on him first, and then hit him with the shiny hammer. Which one's gonna happen first now? Okay, the shiny boots. Nice, okay. So that sent him down, right? Yep, okay, he's down, hit him with the shiny hammer. You're in so much trouble, mister. Not bad, now he's under health, or half health. <laughs> Ow, I was not worried, or looking out for that. That was the wing ding. So he's filling up with water again, but not to a point where we need to be concerned about it just yet. Summoning more spouts. So this time, I still think it's more effective to do this than it would be to um, do double damage. 
So this is what we're gonna do. Give it a try. So he's gonna send the spouts out. I'm actually not too worried about it. Here we go. So once again, we're just gonna jump on him with shiny boots and hit him with a shiny hammer. Okay. Oh. So once I figured out what to do with this boss, it's actually not that difficult. I blocked it a lot better that time. We've lost about 30 health, which isn't too bad. He's almost filled up on water. And he's gonna summon some spats. So I could try to heal myself here. I don't think I need to. This one is particularly tricky though. Oh, but actually, just like that. Same deal as before. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Let's just go with that. I don't wanna play it too risky here and mess something up. It's gonna send the heart flying so I won't get any heals, but we'll be able to attack again the same way we have been before. So sorry if that's a little bit, you know, rinse and repeat a little boring, but if it works, it works. We gotta take this boss fight out. There we go. Oh, you're in trouble now, buddy. Okay, not too much health at this point. Hit him with this shiny hammer. Not an excellent hit, but still, if we were to do that again, we'd win. But he's, ah, the wyvern whip with the tail. Not good. So he's about to implode though. So this is where we definitely have to do the earth elemental and then we can take him out with the uh, thousand fold arms. Look at his belly, it's ready to burst again and I don't think it'll hold back. If you don't find shelter, this might be really bad. Okay, so we know what to do here. The summon spouts are, uh, the, the spouts are being summoned. So we know what to do, but can we get it done? That's the question for right now. I think we could do that. And that, and then if we just move, no, 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 this out of the way, we got it. No, no, wait, that's gonna, oh no, I should've moved it a little bit more. Whoops. Oh, I'm gonna be in so much trouble here. So much trouble, that's not what I meant to do. Oh boy. Well, hey, at the least we can maybe, actually, maybe we could take him out in time. Well, probably not, uh, but I will try. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Oh. Yeah, not quite enough to take him out. That is a shame. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I just, I made a silly mistake that I just didn't move it enough. Oh no, Mega Wave. Oh, block Mario, 51 damage, getting us down to five health. Ouch. But now he's knocked out, so we can still win this. Ooh, we could get a full health refill too if we want to. I'm thinking, um, absolutely. Okay, so how do we wanna do this? I'm thinking, move that down like that. Move this over, and then just move that. Yep, we should be good. Not a full health refill, I can only imagine. 50 health, that's still plenty good. Here we go, you're in trouble. Okay, come on, come on, magic circle on. Let's get the grip, and then hit. And boom, we win. So it got a little messy towards the end there because of a silly mistake, but we still were able to defeat the boss. And we got uh, 1,800 coins for defeating him. Excellent. So there goes the Water of Elemental. And I guess he'll turn back into uh, whatever he's supposed to be, a little water drop. Nice. So I guess this means that, of course, just like with the Earth Elemental, Olivia should be able to turn into it and use that ability. <gasps> Look, Mario, it turned into another Bibliofold, just like the last one. Well, let's pick it up. You got it, Water Bibliofold. Fancy. Let's see, hmm. Ooh, I get it now. You start by folding it here like this. Then you fold this part along here next to you. Next to you do this, then that. And there we go. I think I've got it. I've mastered the folds of the water of elemental. Let's give this new power a try, shall we? 
I would love to. So elemental power, here we go. And after defeating the water of elemental, she can unfold herself and become one with the water of elemental. See, this is pretty cool. I love these different abilities and hopefully we unlock more and more of them as we go on. Wow. How do I look? Am I dignified and cool like the water elemental? I like how it has cute little eyes <laughs> to make it a little bit more like Olivia. Oof, I actually feel extremely well hydrated. I, I'm, I'm overflowing, stand back. Oh my. Whoa. That is so much water. So I guess now that this is all filled up, maybe we can fill up that river back on Autumn Mountain. Did you see that? Did you see me? I hope that looked as cool as it felt. Now now we can fill, fill that dried lake back up for sure. <laughs> all right, awesome. So if there's one more thing I wanna do in today's episode that's gonna to continue to explore this, I wanna find the rest of the question blocks that I might have missed. I hope that, that one day we get a question block finder just like we have for the toads, because that'd be really useful right about now but as it currently stands, I have no clue where it could be. So I know I checked down here, but I don't think I did a very good job because like I can see this from up here, this little square. There we go. Well, we get ourselves some more shiny iron boots and that's everything. So there's the water elemental shrine, 100% complete. How exciting is that? Because we didn't even do that for the earth elemental shrine. Um, definitely, I, I would like to have an episode where we go back and like re-explore stuff before we beat the game. Maybe that can happen soon. But for right now, I think that's about where we want to wrap it up. That was a lot of fun. We were able to make our way through the Water of Elemental Shrine, defeat the Water of Elemental, and unlock the Elemental Powers for it. So I think in the next episode, we'll head out of the Shrine and see what is next. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Paper Mario, the Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.